guys today i want to talk about the lifetime tv show called you basically to explain the finale uh sitting at the edge of my seat because of all the twists and turns that i wasn't expecting but for those of you who, who read the book you guys already know that the TV show and the book is kind of similar in some aspects but at the end of finale we see a girl walk into the store now I, I was I was thinking that this would have been love that will that would have been introduced in season two but it happened to be Candace now I was under the impression that Candace was here anymore and it seemed like Joe had caused harm to her. But it turns out that she's fine. But what also led me to believe that Candace is alive is that someone else in the store saw her as well. So it wasn't just an illusion, like, uh, uh, not, not an illusion, but a hallucination like in the previous um, episodes where Joe had gotten into a car accident and he had had a concussion where he was seeing Candace in the house and whatever. So once we made that connection that Candace is, this, this is still in the picture, it was also revealed that Candace said, still alive. Now this leads me to think of maybe two or three possibilities. Maybe Joe tried to cause harm to her or Candace overpowered Joe or Joe did attempt to do something to Candace but failed and she was probably in the hospital or something and he was able to come su 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 successfully do what he wanted to do. Leaves room to wonder what is Candace's purpose going to be for season two? <sighs> now let's talk about Beck. Mm. I was really hoping that she wa she was going to make it. Like really hoping she was going to hit, hit, make it. I was also coming with the conclusions that maybe she's still alive somehow. Because if you think about it, the show jumped three to four months. So after Joe grabbed her from the door. So after that it's like she was gra she after that it was just shown that Joe um Beck left behind a book that Joe published and whatnot for her. And that was the last project that they did together kind of. You know, but I don't know, I felt felt like she's alive but somewhere else. Like maybe not in the bookstore or what or somewhere hiding place but then it wouldn't explain the body that he put that that he planted but on the therapist what also makes me believe that Beck's still alive is that remember that this episode um Joe had to get rid of two bodies he he had Ron's body and he had Beck's body now I don't know in what short span did he do with Ron's body that's still in the air what he did with that body and you know that that's why I'm like still hesitant to believe that Beck is met her fate I think you is very is a very crazy um lifetime series that depicts what someone would do for love and the fact that someone would go through so much so much crazy stuff just to have that one person be perfect for them is a little too much once someone once you have to do too much to prove your love or prove yourself worth to someone you should already know that that relationship is too much work and you need to walk or walk away not try and force and force a relationship because then if you do that then the person might wind up cheating on you, which which happened with Joe and Beck, where Beck cheated on Joe 
well can, can we say cheated yeah Beck cheated on cheated with the therapist but she lied about it when Joe had asked her full front, full and center if anything happened she said no and she was like if you don't have trust we have nothing and made Joe to make him feel like he he was paranoid and X, Y, and Z when in reality he was right. Also, he didn't even take out the therapist. He just, you know, held up the therapist at gunpoint or knife point and just searched through the therapist's phone and that's where he got what he needed. Reading through text messages and reading and looking at phone calls where mainly in his phone call was back, 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 back to back to back. So, I don't know. If you guys have any theories or comments, you could leave it down below. Um, thanks for watching.